Onyadi Oluri, like most people, was desirous of living a life of significance and opulence. But she was unwilling to work for it. To her, there was only one pathway to meet her goal. It was to kill Chief Adiola Odutola and diabolically control his estate. She has been successful at reaching her goal. After murdering Chief Adiola Odutola, she single-handedly depleted his foreign currency reserves. Her and her conspirators continue to use the coffers of Odutola estates as their personal PG bank. Allegedly, they have been borrowing tens and sometimes hundreds of millions of naira without returning the money to the estate. They have also been splurging on their children and grandchildren at the expense of the Odutola estate and other family members. When it came to Onyadi Oluri living a life of significance, she allegedly used money from the estate's coffers to have a stooge facilitate an order of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, OFR award, from President Elisha Gomez in 2005. What was her merit for the award? But well, the other family members have been scratching their heads on this. Onyadi Oluri's children and grandchildren are the primary beneficiaries of Valages. Lages derived from kidnap and murder of Chief Adiola Odutola, and they all knew what their mother had done. Now, except for our son, Olafi Oluri, who lives in Ikeja, Lagos, all her children and grandchildren moved overseas after she and her conspirators had murdered Chief Odutola. It seems more reasonable to acquaint you with her children, since they are the recipients of the money she had been misappropriating from the coffers of Odutola Estate. The beneficiaries of the murder money are 1. Oinko Adeto Kumbe Buronke Oink Aino Ni Oluri is an ophthalmologist with the Royal Berkshire NHS Foundation Trust in Windsor, Berkshire, United Kingdom. Courtesy of money misappropriated by Oyadi Oluri from the coffers of Odutola Estate. Oyadi Oluri allegedly subsidized the tuition of her grandchildren overseas. Some were sent to Eton College, Windsor, Berkshire, UK. Tuition fee, £48,501 per year. In US dollars, that's $68,244 per year. A private boarding school for very wealthy individuals in the UK. Olaofe Adewali Oluri is Oyadi Oluri's first son. Confident, advisor, and a director on the board of Odutola Holdings. He lives in Ikeja, Lagos, in a house that was built courtesy of thousands of bags of cement and money Oyadi Oluri misappropriated from the coffers of the Odutola estate. It is common knowledge within the family that Oyadi Oluri subsidizes Olaf Oluri, who has an addiction and substance abuse disorder with a monthly check. Also, Olaf Oluri's children are subsidized to leave and study in France. Apparently, Oyadi Oluri also had to spend a substantial amount of money for Olao Oluri's addiction and substance abuse disorder treatment in Malaysia. Again, this was done from the coffers of Odutola Estate. Furthermore, Oyadi Oluri used money from the coffers of Odutola Estate to purchase multi acres of farmland for her son, Olao Oluri. Temi Dayo Adekwe Jopikos Oluri practices ophthalmology in Wilmington, Delaware, USA. Katsi of money Oyade Oluri misappropriated from the coffers of Odutola Estate. Pikos once quipped when talking with one of Chief Odutola's second generation children, referring to Chief Timothy Adeola Odutola, when is your father going to die? And it was Temida of Picos Oluri who wrote on page 23 of her mother's biography, We true Oluris do not forgive or forget. His words have the merit of illustrating his personality and traits. Adeinka Obateye Aroyeo, the second child and only known daughter of Adebisi Adejumoke Olushalabate, Oyadi Oluri's full sister, who was also responsible for kidnapping a murdering chief Odutola. She is the director and member of the governing council at the Lagos Multi Door Courthouse, LMDC. 
Oh, yeah, the Oluri wanted to compensate her sister at the BC Bata, who died about three and a half years after the raided, kidnapped, and murdered Chief Adiola Odutola in an ambulance on April 13, 1995. So she ensured that her niece, Adenka Bataya represented Odutola Holdings Limited on the board of Nigerian Beerish PLC. Now, Adebisi Bata's father was a Mr. Shosoya from Shagamu in Ogun State. She was not a biological daughter of Chief Adeola Odutola. Therefore, Adeinka Bate Aroye, who looks very much like her mother, is not Chief Odutola's grandchild. This is another evil Oyadiolori perpetrated against the Odutola family. An illegitimate, supposedly grandchild representing the Odutola family on the board of a multinational company. The vindictiveness of these very callous individuals betrays their nervousness, knowing that one day the rightful owners will come knocking on their doors. Now, the chickens have come home to roost.